What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing today. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my absolute top thrift finds of all time. Well, at least like within my lifetime. Yeah, just, just in my lifetime, maybe not of all time. But essentially, I feel like I'm getting older and I wanna shop more sustainably. So that can mean one of two things, either shopping brands that are sustainable, who you know use sustainable practices, but also whose quality is really good so that I know I'm going to use the clothes for a really long time versus fast fashion. But on the other hand, sustainable fashion also means buying secondhand. And I personally love thrifting because I love to save those coins. So yeah. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos on sustainable fashion, sustainable brands, essentially revamping my entire wardrobe to just be more my aesthetic, but in a sustainable way. So if you want to see videos like that, be sure to subscribe and let's get right on into this video. My first top thrift find of all time is this lovely jacket right here. I wanna say I found it at Value Village for like under 10 bucks. I love it because I can wear it in the fall and pair it with jeans and some really cute boots or I can wear it in the summer or spring with just like a white tee underneath and some denim shorts. But it has these tassels all across both sides and also on the back as well across like the top of the back. And it also has these sort Sort of bronzy brownish buttons that are all different sizes across the back and across the sides as well this just makes me feel very western and cowgirl-esque when i wear it this jacket in any sort of regular store would easily cost you at minimum 50 bucks probably like 70 80 dollars because it's so unique and the style is so unique but got it at the thrift store for under 10 bucks and keeping with jackets i have this sort of just camel tone neutral colored blazer thrift stores are of course amazing for blazers and one trick that i find because i am very petite i'm only 410 and i weigh 100 pounds i like to look in the boy section for blazers not even the men's section the boy section because you can find some amazing blazers in the boys section. Honestly, I think that's where I get all my blazers in the thrift store from. This is something that you can dress up or you can dress down, which is normally how I wear it with like some denim pants or shorts and a t-shirt underneath. But I feel like everyone needs a camel toned or like neutral color blazer. And this again, I'm pretty sure I got from Value Village for under 10 bucks. This is probably my favorite thrifted piece of all time like like ever in life like taylor swift move over give my blazer some shine this is my ralph lauren blazer that i thrifted from value village again under 10 bucks probably like seven or eight bucks but y'all look at this first off it's navy and i just love the color navy but this embroidery right here with the r l uh, I don't know what the other letter is, but basically it's like a Ralph Lauren embroidery. It is the epitome of preppy. And this is probably the most preppy thing that I have in my closet. I tend to not dress super preppy. However, when I just want a little bit of, a little bit of oomph, you know, in my wardrobe that day, I will pop this on. I just throw this on with like some brown loafers or, you know, some beige loafers and some jeans. And I also love the buttons on this. Everything about this is just super preppy, super classy. And I honestly just can't believe that I got it for under 10 bucks again. A steal and the next item is this sweatshirt that I am wearing right now I saw this and I fell in love with it first and foremost put me in a sweatshirt all day every day I choose comfort over cute any day so that's number one but also I love white sweatshirts they just seem so clean to me but I what I love about this one is it has white 
graphics, if you will, on top of a white, you know, sweatshirt. So there's just something about the white writing on a white sweatshirt where someone just has to look twice at it. Like, wait, is that writing on there? And then they're looking like, oh, what does it say? So, you know, it's just like, mm hmm. Yeah. This is a cute sweatshirt, isn't it? So yeah, I don't know, I just love it. I can wear this with jeans, I can wear it with shorts. I also love to just pair it with some biker shorts and sneakers if I'm just like going for a walk or going for errands or anything. Next is this sky blue sweater. I got this at the same time that I got this one a couple months ago. And when I saw this one, immediately I fell in love with it before I even tried it on because just the shape of it is so unique. I love sort of the mock turtleneck on it. It doesn't come all the way up, but it comes like maybe halfway up my neck and then also the balloon sleeves. Also love that this is ribbed as well, just gives some texture to the shirt and it also helps to just make the sweater a lot more fitted to my body, especially around like my torso area. And this is perfect for just tucking into some high-waisted jeans. That's just how I love to wear this. Honestly, I just like to wear everything with high-waisted jeans if I'm being completely honest. And next I have this sort of cream color crocheted shirt. The brand is Abercrombie & Fitch but I did get it from Value Village because again Value Village is where it's at for thrift finds. This is perfect beach wear or if you're just walking around in the summertime just like with a cute straw hat or something. I love this piece so much and I just love that it's even though it's crocheted and the material is pretty thick it's just breathable because you know essentially there are holes in the material this literally looks like something you would find in Madewell or in Free People but it's Abercrombie and & Fitch and I thrifted it for like five six four bucks next is this cream colored blouse from where did i get this from ragorama if you live in atlanta i'm pretty sure you know what ragorama is what really gravitated me towards this and why i love it so much is the sleeves so there's it's like a double sleeve it's there's like a quarter length sleeve here but then also a shorter sort of peplum sleeve and whenever I wear this shirt I get so many compliments on it. I normally wear it to work because I do think it is a bit more dressy and it also is pretty long. At first when I bought it I thought I was going to get away with wearing it as a dress but it's not that long. Um, but yeah I normally just like tuck it in all the way into either high-waisted jeans or slacks and yeah, I just love, love, love the sleeves on it. There's also this V-neck in the back as well. So there's a little bit of surprise on the back whenever I turn around, um, which just, again, makes it just feel a lot more feminine in my opinion, because it just shows a little bit more skin, but not too much skin. So it's like, you know, nice and dainty with the sleeves back here. And then, ooh, naughty, naughty. Okay, I'm, I'm done. Yes, like this piece. And keeping with the blouses, I have this emerald green colored silk button up. This is an, I feel like all these, I mean, all these are really my favorite, but this one is just, the color is so rich and on my brown skin, it just looks like milk chocolatey emerald goodness and I love just a cute button down I just love button downs but I love this one because it's silk and it's just it's very flowy again the material is very feminine in my opinion pairing this with some jeans and a nice summery hat a straw bag or something um, is just this is vibes for me and I normally roll the sleeves up on this because I will say the sleeves are a bit big on me, especially on the wrist area where this cuff is. Um, it is a bit big on me, so I just, you know, roll it up and it has that oversized boyfriend sort of fit. So I think it's fine that the sleeves are a little bit big. A lot of you guys saw me in this on a recent video and so many of you asked me where I got it from and I thrifted it at Value Village. Last year or two years ago, I was in Buffalo Exchange and discovered this 
amazing Harley Davidson graphic tee. And this is a legitimate, authentic Harley Davidson graphic tee. When I bought it, it smelled authentic, if you know what I mean. And I'm not a huge lover of graphic tees. However, I just fell in love with this one. I feel like if I'm wearing a graphic tee, I want it to be a little bit more authentic and not just like a random saying on it or something. I want it to be super authentic and, and just like real, if you will. The colors are very neutral in it. They're not crazy colors because again, I do like to keep my wardrobe pretty neutral. So the fact that there's like just these tan colors, a muted orange in it. On the back, there is a bit more pop of color with like the fire flames or whatever, but overall, this is a pretty simple t-shirt to be a Harley Davidson t-shirt. It's navy and I like to wear this as a dress. I'm short enough that I can get away with it, but this with just like some super basic uh, sneakers and um, just like a cute bag, I just love to wear this in the winter time. I also wear it around the house. I just wear this thing. I've worn this thing out, honestly. I'm surprised that there aren't holes in everything in it because I have worn this thing to death, but that's what I love about it. I feel like the older it gets and the more worn it gets, the better it looks. And there's definitely like cracks in the graphic part of it, but I feel like that just adds to the character of the t-shirt. And this was a little bit on the pricier side. I want to say it was like $16.99 and $17, bucks, but I feel like for a real authentic Harley Davidson shirt, I don't think that that's a lot at all because these probably will run you about 60, 50 to 60 bucks uh, or maybe like 30, 40, I don't really know. It'll cost you more than 17 bucks for sure in like an Urban Outfitters or you know another store like that that sells these sort of graphic tees. This is a dress that I discovered in college. I actually wore this in my graduation pictures and this is a Gap, I wanna say yes, it's a Gap sort of just like flowy bohemian dress. And if you know me, you know that this is 110% my, my just like style, my vibe. 90% of the time, I wanna be in something just super flowy and bohemian. I don't remember where I got this from. I wanna say Value Village, cause that's where I get most of my stuff from, but it may have been a Goodwill or a Salvation Army. I can't remember, but it's just like this cream color and there's so much unique detail on this dress that I love. First and foremost, these like ball things, I don't really know. They're just like material cotton, balls um, and they just kind of make these semicircles across the chest. And then the bottom is also kind of peplum -y, if you will. I don't really know if it's peplum per se, but um, it's just like a ruching right here and also right here, uh, kind of in the bust area. I've had this dress for over six years. It's still going strong and I probably will have this forever. And last but not least, I have a pair of pants. I generally don't find pants that fit me in thrift stores because again, I am so tiny. I have a very difficult time finding pants that fit me in thrift stores. However, um, probably like a year or two years ago, I found these in Buffalo Exchange. They're kind of like a gaucho um, pant, if you will. The brand is Club Monaco, so pretty amazing quality to them. Like I've washed them multiple times. They don't give, they don't tear, they literally are perfect. I would normally just kind of pair this with like a fitted top because the bottoms are so flowy and loose and they have pockets, which I mean, everyone loves pockets. So that is it for this video. I have shown you guys my top thrift finds of all time. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite piece. Um, be sure to subscribe to see more videos by me and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace. What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are, wow. The construction above me is, <laughs> so rude and so disrespectful, but we're just gonna work through it. Where did I find this one at? It was from, uh, not Ragarama. Oh, this is a Ralph Lauren blazer that I thrifted from Value. Oh, you rude. I found, I, I found this, I found this Harley Davidson graphic t-shirt at, um, 
Wow, how did I just forget the name that fast again? Cool, 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 cool story, bro. 